Today's horoscope and tarot reading from Astro Academy, Libra March 3, 2022. With the Moon's North Node in your solar 12th house until mid-2023, you'll be giving due attention to your inner world, mental health, and spiritual needs. It can be rewarding to connect with some level of solitude, your dreams, and your spirituality. Your path is to let go of unnecessary worry and guilt and trust in a larger, more spiritual plan. Today, you're incredibly observant, and you can make a nice connection with someone through your understanding manner. Certain conversations and connections deserve your undivided attention today. For example, a discussion about something private, a secret, or a matter of the past can be significant and perhaps even liberating. Single, crushing, or already in a romantic commitment, chances are that you're focusing on your daily duties and tedious to-do list. This is especially true with the moon's transit through smoldering Scorpio and your responsible sixth house of daily rituals, due diligence, and acts of service, but there's more. The moon will form a harmonious trine to dreamy Neptune I your bossy tenth house of authority, public persona, and reputation in the world, so it's essential that you set the necessary boundaries between your personal and professional life. Has work been getting in the way of your love life? Step back to reflect on what is or is not said throughout the day. As Mercury retrograde in Capricorn trines the North Node in Taurus, your two hidden sectors become aligned. Your subconscious mind is preoccupied with the value of merging, selling and investing. So, there may be talk about such subjects at work today. Make sure you pay attention to what is said about these topics, as it may give you a better sense of direction for your next professional investment. Consider any advice as well, as it may lead you to a greater destiny and finances. Almost four weeks after Mercury left your financial sector, he is back and with perfect timing. Mercury retrograde back in yesterday for a double dip visit, giving you a smart head for money and hindsight just two days before Venus direct turn and two days after Mars returned with a chance to take your financial power back. Go out and enjoy life to the full. You exude an inner calm and spontaneity that others find irresistible, so join in activities with them. Start a new hobby or visit an old friend. Whatever you do, reflect and find out what's been on your mind. The group is without its center when you're not around. You don't mind being in the spotlight some of the time, but once in a while you'd like to sit back and let the others do the talking. You feel self-assured, capable of almost anything. If there is someone special you have your eye on, you convince them of your intention to get together in a more intimate way. Even if you have not already met someone, you can rely on your charm and naturalness to bring successes in any matters of the heart. There are times when you, who are typically emotional and internalized, can be outgoing and glamorous, and with today's planetary alignment, you have the opportunity to shine. You may experience a day or two of feeling you want to entertain and share your bubbly mood with those you love. Why not spread good cheer with a bountiful feast made from organic produce that is grown locally? Prepare a meal with the intention to spread this feeling of well-being throughout your intimate community. If you haven't got enough money coming in use your creativity to make your work more lucrative on this day. You won't get a better day than this when it comes to starting the process of generating more cash flow, and if opportunity comes knocking today, it won't be at all surprising. Check the papers, look over the net and see what's open at your current place of employment. There may be opportunities there for a little extra work that you don't know about. Check it out. Your tarot reading for today. Temperance, the Empress and the Hermit. You need to take a breather, to pause and take time for yourself. In everyday life, you give too much of yourself to others and often forget your own needs. You are a very friendly person and full of good intentions, you give a lot to others, and often you forget about yourself. You are just as important as other people, so think about yourself and repeat, your number one priority is yourself. The cards show a period of profound well-being during the month of March, which could be the result of you becoming aware of how you manage your time. 
The character the cards describe is peaceful and thoughtful, they have evolved in several areas and are looking at the future with confidence. Do you recognize yourself in this character? Maybe not today, because you have not yet made the change necessary for your future well-being. But you will soon do so, you will put aside your past problems and can finally move towards a happy future. Your desire to always please others regularly plays tricks on you, and many disappointments in friendship or romance prove that this behavior is not good for you. A transformation is necessary so you can develop your life as you want. You have often thought about this problem, but because you didn't have a solution have kept putting it off until later. Well, later is now, the cards are giving you the opportunity to take the next step. Our eyes in the sky. Although it's hard for us to do sometimes, we have to start looking at the bigger scope of matters. Don't get too caught up in the minutiae of things and relationships. Keep an open mind to gain a broader perspective. This will help you avoid making snap judgments. Your intuition can help you find and uncover truths that have been hidden for some time. By doing this, you can gain a deeper and better understanding of matters, including relationships. Another side to this transit is sociable banter. A friendly debate within your social circle could leave you eager for more, but before you go full throttle into causing more drama just for fun, think about what you're trying to prove. Listen to what others are saying before reacting. This influence has the effect of confusing our feelings and our rational thought processes. Intuitive messages seem definitive in our minds but come out garbled and we try to verbalize them. Objective thoughts are intruded upon by emotional urges. Irrationality leaves us exposed to errors in judgment. We should take extra care when explaining ourselves or entering into contractual agreements, as misunderstandings are likely. From where are you sourcing your confidence and self-esteem? Are you making a daily practice of finding joy? Over the next two days, we are more concerned with harmony, fairness, and justice in our interactions with others, and as the moon makes its ingress, while many of us will still be asleep, we may have dreams where we are called upon to make a difficult decision. Much as we might love for matters to be black or white, easily categorized into differentiating distinctions. Under the Libra moon, we are acutely aware that existence is full gray areas and nuance, and that this is in fact what makes life so beautiful. Making discerning choices will not shut doors or deny us opportunities, but rather will align us with our correct path. At this time, we gain charm, charisma, and courage, perfect for seizing the day. Physical affection is an attribute of this transit, but intimate connections may not form without mental stimulation in the form of witty repartee, polite banter, or playful compliments. This is an ideal influence for entertaining or rallying others around an important cause or social justice movement. Passions are high, and we might be moved to fight for others' rights, knowing that is the just thing to campaign for all to be able to exercise their freedom of expression.